I'm sitting here looking at the mountain surrounding Stelmarsh, a most historic city. One of the more important ones in terms of places that have shaped the history of this nation. And where I'm sitting is actually the gates of the city. We started in Stellenbosch in 1992 uh, with a ministry to a couple of students. And since then that little baby has started to grow. God has done amazing stuff. Uh, we're all across the world and uh, we are still, there are so many places where we can still go and make a difference and we want to just serve nations and serve communities and different culture groups and races and, and really see the love of God manifest in their lives and through their lives. This year the gates of the city represents for us so much of what God has called us to have a concern for our country, our nation, and in a strange sense, the nations of the world, because so much of the world at large is represented here. Of the wealthiest people in Africa, live right across the road from us. And then we have the challenging reality of the genetic coefficient that is so stark, of the poorest people in the country live on the other side of the road. Uh, you will find out they are going to get a meal now, and for some, even though one may not believe, it is the only meal that they will have for the day. I thank God for the program that is running here. A Christian institution should exist in a community to give hope to a hopeless community, and that is the community of Kamadi. such a tremendous redemptive calling. This town has sent people and are still sending people all across the world, change agents. This town has sent so many people throughout the world with the gospel and it's such a privilege to be part of a town like this and to know that God has called us to cut our teeth here, to be established here. Behind me is the Sunscape Stellenbosch Skate Park. Uh, this is part of our youth group, the youth of Chauffeur Stellenbosch. Uh, it's called Life Lights. Uh, this is just a place that's a service to the, the youth community. It's just a place where people can do sports, hang out, it's a positive environment. And we just want to model core values to the young people and through that, spot them into church. These are the Shofar studios at the Shofar headquarters. This is where we develop our Church in a Box product, which is basically a series of training DVDs which we use to empower our pastors to help them accelerate the discipleship process. Bible school foundations, all those kind of products are developed here. People of vision, people of passion, people of such amazing integrity. And God not only brought us together here, but God is still bringing people from all across the world to aggregate here. And He's adding so many of those people to our numbers. And it's such a joy to be able to share this redemptive journey, God's plan of redemption, of rescue for this country, for this nation, for this continent, and for the nations of the world that He's planted in seed form in this visionary place. This place has spawned so many great men, so many great women that have impacted the world globally. And God is still doing the same. God is raising up giant killers and giants in this place. Giants in terms of faith, giants in terms of passion, giants in, in terms of vision, giants in terms of love and mercy, giants in terms of caring. People who believe God enough that what He says He is, a God of love, a good God, a benevolent God, a God who is involved, a God who cares, that that same God has chosen to find expression through us at this time. And we're experiencing miracles as God is defying history, as God is building bridges where none existed. And the sun is shining, and the leaves are dancing. Most of the Christians, they're discriminating the children. They leave the children inside while the others are playing outside. And Kuma went to uh, her own physio in Greyfontein and the therapist was so impressed. Yeah, so impressed. They're, yeah they're making a big, a very big improvement. 
if Prochorus was in here, we wouldn't have the center by now and we wouldn't have occupational therapists and um, student from overseas who's helping it. Basically, um, Prochorus, it's Prochorus made us who we are today because there's more like they sponsored everything. I could say that. I've run out of, I've run out of words. I don't know how to express myself when it comes to progress. This is what makes this town, the people of this town, so special and what keeps us here. We've been called to be a bread basket to the rest of Africa and to the rest of the world. There's a, there's a high calling on our lives to go and make a difference and take that fresh bread out to the nations. And it's the most thrilling, fulfilling ride to be the extension of the merciful heart of the God that we know and serve in and from this place. That is almost